It's always Gold FM for us at Golden Point, Raki Raki. Gold FM is number one in Lusaka. Gold FM is Nandi's best radio station. It's always Gold FM with us here in Singatoka. Old is Gold and Gold FM is number one here in Lusaka. Singatoka loves classic hits on Gold FM. You listen to Gold FM here in Tawa. We love Gold FM in Bang. We've got beautiful beaches, people and Gold FM in Raki Raki. Lusaka loves the classic hits on Gold FM. Gold FM, only the classic hits. In this bulletin, military commander Commodore Barenge Mbani Marama is ready to step down after 15 years at the helm. Two dormitories at Nasinu Secondary School closed due to OHS issues and soldiers warned not to be swayed by lies and deceit of old politicians. Good evening, I'm Jackie Spate and this is FBC News. After 15 years as commander of the Republic of the Fiji Military Forces, Commander Vorenge Mbani Marama is ready to step down. He has confirmed to his officers that he will relinquish from his post on the 28th of next month. Api Solomidoka with this exclusive. A month away from stepping down as the head of the RFMF, the commander has called on his military personnel to remain strong. The military commander will change, the FSM will change, the camp commandment will change, but the military will remain one. Speaking at the warrant officers and sergeants mass today, Warangam Bainimarama warned on what is to be expected. Many don't know about the underground work that are now carried out by old politicians. I have been receiving reports on the work they have been conducting, just trying to return the country to where the military had moved the country away from. We don't want any more soldiers dying in camp, like what happened in 2000. It is our job to stand together and defend our country from being poisoned by dirty Politicians. The military commander has warned that dirty politicians can easily get through to soldiers that are weak in any area of life. He has urged them to stand strong and stay focused on the task ahead. Listen to me carefully. Many of our men that we had started together have left us. It is because their values is different from the values of the military. Our values are here today because our former comrades had kept it with them it is our task to maintain it. Many of our soldiers are now on the outside trying to undermine our work. They will not make it because once we move away from our values, we will fail in our work. The military commander says the military knows the challenges it has come through to get the country to where it is today. Baini Marama has warned that anyone who tries to split the military will find it impossible to do so. Apisalome Dhoka, FBC News. Close to 130 boarding students at the Nasinu Secondary School will have to find accommodation elsewhere after two of their dormitories were closed down. It is understood the OHS Department of the Labor Ministry closed the dorms this afternoon because they are allegedly not compliant with OHS rules. When FBC News arrived at the school, students and parents were waiting around for school officials to make a statement. It was later revealed the school will only be allowed to take in 60 female boarders and about 120 male boarders as one dormitory for the girls and one dormitory for the boys had been closed. School officials have also announced that first preference will be given to students who have already paid their boarding fees as compared to those who would pay in installments. The Labor Ministry is yet to comment on the matter. Officers of the Fiji military forces have been warned not to be swayed by the lies, deceit and dishonesty of politicians as Fiji gets gears towards elections. Speaking to soldiers at the First Commander's Parade of the Year this morning, Military Commander and Prime Minister Vorenge Mbani Marama said this is the time that dirty politicians will try and influence all Fijians. Ellen Otorangai View reports. Soldiers were reminded of their duty to the people and to the nation this morning. They were warned not to be convinced by the preaching of old politicians. We will start hearing old politicians talking and preaching the old sermons. I want to emphasize to each and every one of you here this morning not to be easily swayed by their words. I tell you today, you will be easily swayed if you are weak. 
The military commander is also advising his soldiers to carefully choose who they want to lead the country over the next few years. Be careful of those who are only after positions in parliament. Your votes will only go to waste when they will be up in those positions and thinking of themselves and not those who made them sit there. Orenge Mbani Marama says when the 2013 constitution was revealed, it was attacked and criticized by dirty politicians. I have been telling people in places around Fiji that I go to, to put together these two documents, the 2013 constitution and the People's Charter for Peace, Change and Progress, and compare it with what the politicians are saying. These two documents should be the manifesto of all political parties in the country as it contains what the people want. Commodore Bainimarama reminded his soldiers about the comrades who died in the 2000 mutiny, saying they did not die for nothing and that the events should never happen again. Many people think that the decision to remove government in 2006 started that year. But for us who are here in 2000, it is clear to us 2006 is the completion of 2000 and a big step towards progress and development for Fiji. A lot of people will talk and write about it, but is it clear to each of us that what we did was right and will bring a lot of benefits to the country? Bainimarama also thanked his soldiers for the enormous work they are carrying out throughout Fiji and has asked them to do more for the country. Eleanor Turangaibu, FBC News. Good news for sixth form students who have passed their exams. They will now be able to pursue seventh form studies without having to meet other requirements. Education Minister Philippe Mbole has announced all policies and regulations regarding student entry into Form 7 studies are to be removed. Principals and management of schools have been advised not to turn away students because they do not attain the 250 or 230 marks, which are usually set as requirements for entry into Form 7. The decision behind the announcement is to allow students to freely continue their secondary education. Still to come on FBC News, private doctors step in to help shortage at Nandi Hospital. Today FM is number one here in Singapore. We are Today FM in Lambasa. My favorite station in Nandi is Today FM. I love Today FM because they play the awesome, awesome song. A lot of us love today's kid music. I love Today FM because they play all my songs. We love Today FM at Vuniva Lambasa. Yeah, it rocks. I love Today FM because it rocks. Today's hit music on Today FM. Bulan dua saya betul FM, enam bandua rakyat rakyat. Bulan FM enam bandua inosor. Gua etawa ke betul kalau sah bulan FM. Bulan FM enam bandua korbu. Bulan FM enam bandua esawa. Bulan FM enam bandua lontokam. Bulan enam bandua enam bulan FM member. Bulan FM enam bandua enser in Singapore. Kalau tali tak ada warung enam bulan FM lontokam. Ali akar warung enam bulan FM enam bandua enser. Bulan FM enam bandua enser. Welcome back. This is FBC News. The Health Ministry says services at the Nandi Hospital have normalized. Last week, private doctors worked for only two hours each morning as the ministry sorted out a doctor shortage. Vosita Kotewasawasa reports. The shortage last week was due to some doctors migrating, getting transferred and going on leave. Health Minister Dr. Neil Sharma says they have had to rope in general practitioners to help is the workload at the hospital. Uh, this is a short-term arrangement with the general practitioners. It's just for 10 working days. Uh, and they are working between 8 and 10 in the morning. And uh, what this does is uh, helps our doctors as they reach full uh, maximum number of 10 uh, on, on, on in the hospital. We should be uh, satisfactorily running the system after this 10-day support. And we are grateful for the GPs for taking this up. Dr. Sharma says with the influx in the number of patients flocking the Nandi hospital, the lack of doctors have been frustrating for patients. This will assist in reducing the load. We have close to 300 patients uh, who frequent uh, the general outpatients and um, sometimes because of the manpower, because of complicated cases, complications and emergencies uh, on the ward, 
and in the uh, outpatients department, uh, you know, there's uh, little delays. The health minister reiterates they are continuously working on improving their service to the public. But we're working on these issues and as soon as we have adequate manpower, we should be all right. Dr. Sharma adds shortage of doctors has been the main area of concern to the ministry and it's something they are hoping to fully address soon. Vasita Kotewasawasa, FBC News. The acting police commissioner has issued a list of demands that he believes will sharpen the work of police sergeants. Ravi Narayan says sergeants are in charge of most of the country's police stations and are vital in the force's efforts to improve its image. The police chief demands no less than quality service from his sergeants. We won't be able to provide that quality service unless we know ourselves what our role is. These sergeants are in for three weeks of intense training. They are expected to grasp strong leadership skills and keep those under their leadership in line and to respect seniority in the force. I've been asked by, um, approached by the media that some of us, we go to the media seeking solutions. Why can't you people come to me? Come to the chief operation officer. Why do we go to the media? Is media responsible? Is part of the organization that will fulfill the um, resource or will give directions to the police? I don't think so. These police sergeants play an important role in the Fiji police force. It's expected that when they return to their stations, they will raise the level of service. My expectation is uh, becoming a better leader and teaching the men in the right way they, was, they, they are supposed to be taught. Since I've been promoted uh, from 2011 till now, I haven't been through any training. Narayan says there's nothing to celebrate in the force unless and until it has managed to reduce the number of crime, fatalities and complaints against officers to zero. If one member of the community is dissatisfied, is unhappy with our services, that means we have failed. So that must not happen. The acting head of police also stressed the importance of having a good knowledge of the law by all officers. Mikolonga, FBC News. FBC TV's most popular local show Mbatini Tano visited the Northern Division for the first time over the weekend. Erelia Nawandra reports the show's continuing success means there will be opportunities for all its fans nationwide to see them soon. A big crowd gathered at Subral Park in Lambasa to witness the Mbatini Tano crew entertainment in the North for the first time. Being it the only time and the first time Mbatini Tano show has been uh, brought or taken to Lombasa, the crowd uh, was just great. Uh, they connected well, or our team connected well with the crowd. Fans of all works of life turn out in numbers to witness the show. Uh, if you see some of the highlights, uh, we had people on their feet throughout the night just dancing and just laughing away. Kids, we had uh, fa uh, families turn up in numbers, uh, so they were really good. FBC Van says the group's continuing popularity means there will be live shows around the country this year. Erelia Nawandra, FBC News. Sports Now and Jamie, what does the new week bring us? Well, our seventh side is back on the road and has landed in Las Vegas. FBC Sports caught up with Coach Ryan before the team departed and we hear from him after the break. Also coming up, Fiji Boxing takes another shot at reviving the sport. This kid has come ready for you to his number one in Singatoka. My Lamba Sakinivasi, Miranam Prem Chandrahe. This kid has come ready for you to come. Salam. Mandy, my this kid has come ready for you to. Radio Fiji 2 में देश की धड़कन मुझे बहुत अच्छा लगता है। Radio Fiji 2 is number one in Singapore। Nandi में मेरा धड़कन है Radio Fiji 2। हम ननुपुर के लिए रहता है और हम Radio Fiji 2 हर दम सुनता है। हमें Radio Fiji 2 सुनो बहुत अच्छा लगे। आप भी Radio Fiji 2 सुनो। देश की धड़कन Radio Fiji 2।
Welcome back to FBC Sports. The Fiji Seven side has arrived in the United States for the resumption of the Sevens World Series in Las Vegas this weekend. Under the guidance of coach Ben Ryan, the 12-member team is one of the most inexperienced to be assembled in recent times. However, Ryan is still trying to mold a winning combination, not only for Las Vegas, but for the elusive series crown as well. Interesting with more. Second wife. <laughs> the mood was upbeat and jovial as the National Sevens team said their goodbyes yesterday. It doesn't matter if we've got no money or all the money in the world. It, it doesn't matter what team I pick, the, the country expects. They understand that this is also a team that's um, new, I've got, with a new coach, um, a very inexperienced team in, in terms of tournament caps. But um, I'm, I think it's great that the whole, the whole country's behind us. Bound for Las Vegas, a city well known for its nightlife and casinos, but that's the last thing on the minds of Ryan's brigade. I've seen how the boys have trained. I've seen the look in their eye and they're, um, they're pretty hungry to work hard and, um, and do themselves justice. So, you know, I'm, I'm right behind them in Vegas. I can't wait for them to go on the first field on Friday night against Scotland. The focal point of training this week will be plans on how to end a six-year drought and more importantly, how to stay in contention for the series title. Yeah, we are on the hunt. You know, um, it's been a difficult few weeks and um, we're playing against three teams that are fully professional in our group. So, you know, we're the underdogs, certainly from a financial point of view and a resource point of view. And we're, we're keen to prove a point that talent and hard work and faith is going to get you a long way. Led by inspirational skipper Osea Kolinisao, the side has settled well in Nevada. They had their first training run today and now it's all about fine-tuning for the first pool game on Saturday. Under Ryan's guidance, Fiji is now one of the top contenders for every tournament. However, as the mentor puts it, never count your titles before it's in hand and that is what his team will be doing as well. Interesting, FBC Sports. And still with Fiji Rugby, Digicel Fiji has matched a competitive offer for sponsorship of Fiji Rugby properties. The company submitted the required documents to Rugby House today. Digicel Fiji CEO Morris McCarthy re revealed the company has invested over $15 million in the past seven years and as such retains a contractual right referred to as an option to match, which it now has duly exercised. While another offer is on the table, the Fiji Rugby Union Board will make the final decision, which is expected sometime this week. And the call to revive amateur boxing in Fiji has been made once again. But this time, the initiative is from the Boxing Commission and the Fiji Sports Council. They've organized a three-day tournament which began this evening at Lavala Bay. And as Elena McDonald reports, this could be that vital second win boxers have been hoping for. The future looks bright for amateur boxing in Fiji. Well, Fiji Sports Commission is uh, helping finance the revival of amateur boxing. Once that's in place, uh, we'll, they, the clubs will then head to regional competitions and also prepare for appoint appointments of uh, regional reps for an annual general meeting. Reviving amateur boxing in Fiji has been a struggle for the past decade and the Fiji Boxing Commission has had enough. A boxing ring just like this one, which was used in the 2003 Pacific Games, will be established in the Western and Northern Divisions as well to ensure that competition is held all year round. Despite their inexperience, this is one group who will be taking advantage of this event. I got about five uh, fighters from a uh, boxing club. They've been training just for the past three years. They've never boxed before. And uh, today, uh, tonight will be their first time to box. The past few months we've been training really hard. Uh, Tui has been uh, giving us uh, lessons and uh, crossfit training too. Uh, tonight, uh, looking forward, nervous, uh, not really sure what uh, to expect. Eh? So whether it's the blue or red corner, fight nights begun for 2014. And here's hoping its revival won't face another beating. Elena McDonald, FBC Sports. The Mbai and Nandi football teams will need to wait another week before a win of the Pile Garments Champion vs. Champion Series is decided. Both teams played out a one all draw in the second match yesterday and will meet again at Churchill Park this weekend. Interesting has more. Wait, the referee says it's all over here. 
two games in two weeks and yet again, no result. Towards the broadcast side, they look to check. Everybody will be enjoying a, a, a wonderful and enjoyable football uh, next uh, week. We'll work on our midfield area again, pressing and let's hope we do well in the third game. The two giants will have to face off for a third time to see who can engrave its name on the CVC trophy. Krishna, Munit turns and look for the little tip, little bit. Oh, good one and headed through by McCoy. And Amani McCoy has opened the account in the 39th minute of play. Takiata comes on towards the broadcast side. Avinashwami turns and drives. We could say that was a great goal by Avinesh. It was a class, like an unexpected thing which happened. If not, uh, we would have won the game. In a repeat of last week's match, Nendi took the lead but failed to hang on. A big disappointment for the Jet Setters coach. For me, Mata to Mata, out on towards the broadcast side, on towards the left hand edge of the box. If uh, Ura would have been on target and Gassi would have been on target, then we would have finished this game off. While the fans will be rubbing their hands in glee to get to see a third match, it means more pressure for the two teams. First of all, we need to go for a recovery and then uh, I hope I get the video of this game. We can assess uh, this game and uh, then uh, work out accordingly within the week uh, and see what we can do uh, uh, next week in uh, Lotoka. The next few days of training will be all about getting a definite result. However, with Bar's comeback record, it looks like the men in black may just have an edge over its western rivals this weekend at Lotoka's Churchill Park. In Racing, FBC Sports. That's it from Sports Tonight. Good evening. Australia has revised its budget allocation for Fiji. The High Commission in Suva does not expect this change to have a major impact on their programs. Acting High Commissioner Glenn Miles says the revised budget estimate for 2013 and 14 total is $54.6 million, down from the original estimate of $58.2 million. Miles says they plan to consult with relevant Fiji government officials over changes to the program in the coming weeks. He adds Australia remains committed to helping Fiji achieve its development priorities and they will work, sorry, they will continue to work with the Fijian government and civil society partners to identify sectors and programs for support. And here's Jen with All Things Weather. Thanks, Jackie. It was all showers and thunderstorms this afternoon. Amazingly, Suva and Savasavu missed out on the thunderstorms and only had to deal with periodic showers. A definite surprise for some, as this morning's conditions in the West and Lombasa gave no hint of what was to come. We're seeing very warm temperatures on the chart again. The Jet Set Town and the Hidden Paradise we're on 32 at 4 p.m. today, while the other centers hit 33 degrees. Tomorrow sees the country experiencing similar conditions. Mariners, take heed. There will be poor visibility in areas of heavy showers and thunderstorms. Moderate seas are also forecast, and easterly winds are at 10 to 15 knots. Now, a sunset's a sunset, right? Well, maybe for some, but I'm looking at this one behind me with a whole new level of appreciation. Thank you very much, Isoa. You've given us a glimpse of what it's like in the highlands of Bonamoli in Nandi. Thanks so much for that, Genevieve. Our main story is again, military commander Commodore Vorenge Mbaini Marama is ready to step down after 15 years at the helm of the military force. Two dormitories at Nasinu Secondary School closed due to OHS issues and soldiers warned not to be swayed by lies and deceit of old politicians. Now to the results from last week's poll question we had asked, are people being serious about fire safety in their homes? 78% said no. This week we're asking, is our sevens team to Las Vegas Ben Ryan strongest since his appointment as coach? Visit our FBC website to take part. Remember you can send us newsworthy pictures and videos on email citizenseyes at fbc.com.fj or share it with us via Facebook page FBC News. And if you're on Twitter, follow and tweet us your tips at FBC News or simply hashtag FBC News. That's news for tonight. Until tomorrow, good evening.
ओनली मिर्ची एफ एम मिर्ची एफ एम इज हॉट बाकी हर घर में खाली मिर्ची एफ एम बजे मिर्ची एफ एम इज हॉट बेस्ट साउंड बेस्ट म्यूजिक मिर्ची एफ एम रॉक एंड रेकॉर्ड नंबर वन स्टेशन है मिर्ची एफ एम मिर्ची एफ एम इज हॉट मिर्ची एफ एम इज नंबर वन इन नर्सरी हम लोग मिर्ची एफ एम रोज सुनता है मिर्ची एफ एम जागो मामा मिर्ची एफ एम